If you ever feel like life is moving at 100 miles an hour, everything's just rushing past you. It's, it's non-stop going from one thing to the next. If, if you have kids, maybe it's two, three, four different kids' activities that, that, that you have to be at all, all over the course of a weekend, or your work is just pushing you and you, you're doing long hours and it never feels like you get a chance to stop. You're barely even able to breathe. I know sometimes my life can feel like that. One practice that I have found that has really helped me to slow down and to sense God's presence is something called breath prayer. In Psalm 46 verse 10, the psalmist writes, be still and know that I am God. Often when we think of prayer, we think it's about us talking to God. But actually there's an aspect of prayer which is simply us sitting and being with God, being still and in that moment knowing that He is God and, and we are not. And when you're facing a bunch of things in your life, I've got to tell you there's nothing better than being reminded I'm not the one who's in control, that God is above all. A lot of people practice this in, in different ways, but, but the way I found really useful to practice this sort of breathing prayer, this slowing down prayer, is to recite a scripture verse. It's actually a kind of a combination of two different scripture verses. Uh, there is a blind beggar who cries out to Jesus in Luke 18 and says, Son of David, have mercy on me. And in the same chapter, just earlier on, there is a tax collector who cries out to God. He says, God be merciful to me, a sinner. And taking those two together, I. I have this phrase, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, a sinner. And what I do is I combine that with my breathing to help me to slow down. It'll go a little something like this. I'll take a deep breath in, and as I do, I'll say quietly in my head, Jesus, son of David. And then I'll take a deep breath out, and I'll say in my head, have mercy on me, a sinner. You could try it. Right now, deep breath in, Jesus, son of David, and now breathe out, have mercy on me, a sinner. And I find that if I still myself and, and breathe in this way and, and recite that verse, especially as my mind begins to wander and I think about all that I've got going on, as I draw my mind back to that verse, I find that God meets me in that place and I sense his presence. As I am still, I begin to know that He is God and I am not. And whatever I might be facing or, or going through, he, he is the one who is above it all. If you've never tried breath prayer, uh, I'd encourage you to practice it. There's a link in the description to uh, something that can help you and give you more guidance and pointers, but it really is as simple as being still, breathing deeply in and out, and if you find it helpful, reciting that scripture verse that I shared with you, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, a sinner. Maybe you could try it right now. Pause this video, give it a go. Aim to do it for a minute at first, and then maybe over time you could extend that. I personally love to do it first thing in the morning. Before I read my Bible, I sit down in this chair and I begin by breathing, just stilling myself, noticing God, present with me. Thanks for watching this short video that's part of a series about spiritual practices, ways that you can engage in your spiritual journey to grow closer to God. We've linked to the other videos that are a part of this series. Love you to go and check those out. If you like this video, give it a like, maybe put a comment in the bottom. What, what did you find useful about it? And subscribe to our channel if you want to receive more content. We are putting out videos every week.